All metal enclosures have condensation problems. Without power, a dry enclosure is rare, but very possible if vented properly. Ventilation is crucial. If enough air exchanges take place, condensation can be prevented. All shipping containers come with these small passive vents with less than a one square inch opening. In comparison, these louvered vents installed by the conversion outfitters have more than 80 square inches, but the containers still sweat and have condensation problems. It's not the size of the vent, but what it does and how often. All passive vents are inconsistent, sometimes draw out, usually blow the outside elements inside, and often move no air at all. Besides our products, the rooftop turbine also functioned in all wind conditions. It also moved a lot of air, but not in very light winds. It's a complex install for water sealing, and of course the mechanical component does have a lifespan. Our designs can manage high-speed gusts, all turbulence, and sudden direction shifts. The 960 siphon has 9.5 square inches of vent area, but it draws 24-7 in most locations due to common light air movement that usually goes unnoticed. These vents operate in wind speed less than 1 mile per hour. The reason we always mention turbulence, direction shifts, and that our products work in all wind conditions is best demonstrated in the short recording. This wasn't edited. It was doing this during our half hour on site. It's hard to see, but the trees in the background are not moving. This was a very light breeze. There are many advantages to mounting vents on the door end of the container versus the rooftop. Mounted vertically, the vent is protected from debris or snow, easy to seal, most condensation forms around the door area, and a wind accelerates along the ends or sides, especially if there's a few containers in a row, mimicking a valley or a wind tunnel effect. A container with an insulated ceiling and a minimum of two to three complete air exchanges per day should resolve most moisture problems. There are a few variables though, temperature, relative humidity, winds, and the site location. If more air exchanges are required, an additional vent or two might be necessary. The specification page on our website will assist calculating the vent requirement.